Hello, Georgia B back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using a few elements, obviously. But this happy birthday has come from a new st stamp set. Celebrate with flowers. And it's that stamp I'm using. That's the only reason why I bought this stamp set, for this happy birthday. Which I haven't got out. used to have a happy birthday in a vertical stamp set. Right, also I'm using the basket weave embossing folder I'm stamping up. It's now retired, but I still use it. And all these bits I've cut from the Forever Flourish dies. And I cut one of them, one of them, and a few of them little ones. This bit I have used ornate layering dies and I used the outer one and the third one in to cut the gap. So I have here two gold strips. Now these gold strips are actually embossed. What I did, I embossed some card and cut off an eighth of an inch strip there and there, and these two, so it would match the emboss here because the only gold card I've got is that mirror card. So I thought I'd do that. So that gives me two one eighths by five and five eighths. I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I have a piece of white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths to go inside. Did I do anything inside? No. I have a piece of blushing bride at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Thought I'd change the colour a bit. I have my ornate die cut and I have, I didn't want to put this one back in because I wanted a little gap so I have cut a piece at three quarters of an inch, half an inch, three quarters of an inch by three and seven eighths and that goes in there. And that's what we're going to emboss with happy birthday. And we'll do that bit first. Just so it cools down. Uh, I find it easier stamping it that way. So with my embossing body, wipe the whole thing down. Versa Mark ink, stamp, ink up my stamp really well, and pop this along the middle and hope it's straight. It looks like it's over that way. So what I'm going to do is do it again this side. And try and get it in the middle. better. Looks like it's in the middle. Dust from the buddy. Right. Yeah, 
looks nice. Right, we'll heat up the heat gun. Sorry for the noise. Put this away. That's been in there years. Um, my trees is to hold that. See some of it not melted. Right. We'll put that to one side to cool down. Right, we'll bring in this bit. And what we're going to do is stick these around like that but snipping them off we don't want them all on snip that off let me just Um, yeah. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just place them All different ways. If they do hang over, we'll trim them down afterwards. But I try and do it so that they don't hang over too much. She says and puts one down and it's hung over. to find some nice ones.
let's glue some of these down. I keep moving on, I can't see what I'm doing. Remember anything that's hanging over will trim off. Don't like that leaf. Got a new bottle of glue and it's squirting out quite thick. bottle of glue. I refilled my glue, that's more like it. Just a little one. Do the Well, I take our scissors and we trim off what's hanging over. Better doing it this way. And that will sit nicely on there. I haven't ever done that one like I did on the green one. And our happy birthday will sit in the middle. On dimensionals. And these will go either side. Right, for some reason I'm all bits. I 
hands are really sticky. Oh, my glue's leaking. Just sort that out afterwards. Right, stick that on our card base. And then we're going to stick this down. As well. And put this in the middle. And we're going to glue our strips. Might have to trim these down a bit. And they just wedge up quite nicely next to the pattern bit. Now I'm happy that they will go on dimensionals. Thought I'd put it on the wrong side then. because I turned it over. Right. And we'll place that didn't put them over there. I didn't add gems on them, but I'm just thinking whether to add some gems. I'm not sure whether to add some. Add a couple here and there. So one, two, three, four. We're going to put the fifth here. Got to have an odd number. Oh, 
those stay down. Let's do the same on this one. One, two, three, four. I think I'll put the fifth there. that in there, that's so st sticky. Well there's my cards for today, hope you like them, if you do give us a thumbs up, if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.